Hello everyone, welcome back to the original Nick show. My name is Nick. I'm making a really weird thing for me. I don't like doing news sort of stuff. I'm not a news kind of guy. I was gonna, I was thinking about doing this, but like for a while, but then I saw a, a video, a YouTube video of this guy just attacking Christina Miller, who is, I believe, the president of Turner right now, or she at least focuses on Cartoon Network and Adult Swim. And this guy was just destroying her. I could actually play you the clip if I needed to. If you were to watch Cartoon Network right now, you would have no idea that Cartoon Network was turning 25 in less than two months. You'd have no idea of what what iconic shows used to be on the network. You'd have no idea of the celebration that was meant to be or should be had for such a monumental occasion. This is a quarter of a century, yet nothing's happening. He was just attacking this lady who runs a company, and this guy is a guy who probably goes to work and then he watches cartoons. Or he has enough views to probably actually just do that. He complains on the internet for money or for views or anything like that but like as someone who is starting their own business slowly but surely i have already run into the difficulties of running a company you know hiring and firing employees you know how are you going to divide up cost that sort of thing uh, the cost of everything you do that's what this guy doesn't understand, and what a lot of Cartoon Network fans don't understand, and what a lot of cartoon enthusiasts do not understand, is that running a company is a lot different than just watching them and being a fan of them. There was an incident a while ago, I don't remember how long ago it was, but the president of Nintendo America was facing off against a guy who plays Super Smash Bros. like every day of his life. He's like a Smash Tournament guy. And this guy just destroyed the president of Nintendo America. And he's like, wow, for being the owner of this company, you suck at Smash. And he's like, I spend 16 hours a day running a company. You spend 16 hours a day playing video games. Yes, I did. And Reggie, for being the president of Nintendo you suck at Smash Bros. Oh. Whoa! Look. Oh. Gracious look, in victory, look, look. Reggie. So gracious. So, so, so I spend 16 hours a day running a company. John. You spend 16 hours a day playing Smash. So. Oh. And that's what is happening with this guy and a lot of fans. And it burdens me to attack my own fan, like my own friends per se, on internet, sort of people who share things with me. And it hurts a little bit, but also I need to defend someone who is in the clear. She's in the right. Right now I have pulled up the cost of running reruns to... That's the thing. Everyone's like, you should at least bring back, you know, Flapjack and Chowder and bring back all this other stuff. And Boomerang is completely non-existent at this point. First off, Boomerang is a streaming service now. She moved it to the internet. Something that is far more growing in popularity versus traditional TV. Get that through your heads, Cartoon Network fans. That's why Boomerang the channel is kind of slowly dying down. It's because the internet is more prevalent and a more useful media and a more reliable media per se, and you get more viewers that way. Yes, TV is not dead yet. I get it. TV's not dead. Um, there's nothing you can really do about it. I mean, it's just the way the trend goes. But someone's like, you should at least, just Fridays, just Fridays, get five to five to eight. Um, make it, you know, classic cartoons. I'm like, Dang. we don't have anything nostalgic actually to view. You know why? Be you know why? Because Boomerang doesn't have anything really nostalgic to view. And neither does Cartoon Network. So you're stuck to go online. Here, to run Seinfeld, they had to get the, 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 the rights to rerun it. Right here, you can barely see it behind my face. 70000 and then right behind my face it says $1 million. As someone who is starting to have to spend money every single week on uh, products, and my costs are relatively low within the 30 to not really 100 yet, but it's going to be within the hundreds, to acquire 
let's see. So it says here Seinfeld had 180 episodes. That's a lot of episodes for one million dollars. There are a lot of cartoons that have a lot more episodes than that. And people are like, just rerun it. Just rerun it. Do you know the cost? Do you know how much it would be to revive the rights or revive the contract? You don't know. You, as a person who just watches cartoons, do not know the full cost of everything that goes on within Turner. As someone who lives right down the road from Turner, I want to go up to them and hug them and be like, there are people bashing you on the internet, and I'm sorry. As someone who also runs a business and is just starting out, I completely empathize with you. These people need to chill out. They're also, next topic, number two, I guess you could say, they're like, I don't see why they're focusing so much on Adult Swim. Really, really, just just pushing on the, just pushing on, you know, Adult Swim and doesn't care about the other two. I don't understand why this is, and I don't, I, I, I someone in, also tell me why, and. How could you not? With Rick and Morty being the number one show that Adult Swim has ever had, it is making them the most money that Adult Swim has ever made. It is the number one show. It is keeping the Cartoon Network alive because people come to watch Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty is the number one adult show. It's amazing. It's the cash cow. But more than a cash cow, it's cleverly written. It has beautiful animation. The It's got great producers. You know, Dan Harmon of uh, Community. That was like his thing. So good. So that has a lot going for it. Cartoon Network right now doesn't have a lot going for it. They have Teen Titans Go, which is not a very good show. It's all right. Every once in a while, there's a pretty good episode. Um, they have, I believe, a show called OKKO OK coming out. It's probably not going to be good. Then there's the night show that I've seen a couple episodes, I mean, a couple ads for, and Clyde with a Chance of Meatballs. And then you've got Ch- uh, G- Amazing World of Gumball. That one's okay. But they re- they keep showing those because it's probably cheaper. With so many episodes and their contracts are still available and they're still making new episodes, it's understandable. With another problem that is going on is that Regular Show just ended. Regular Show ended. Adventure Time is on its last season. And also... Also, Steven Universe is on its last season. The big three, the big three that were holding Cartoon Network afloat are now coming to an end. One of them already has. So it's like just waiting until it stops. And nothing good has been apparently pitched to Cartoon Network because they have to run Teen Titans Go. They have to run Gumball. They can't probably afford to rerun episodes of the big three. Not with the state it's in right now. And there was another era before this one. I forget what it's called, but it was when they were having live action stuff. Live action was awful for Cartoon Network, understandably, because Cartoon Network is about cartoons. And the Hall of Game and the Andrew WK show, those were all terrible. Hole in the Wall, it was all bad. It was all bad. But they they, they missed something. The fans of Cartoon Network missed something. There was a show. There were like two shows they played every single day everyone complains about the live action and them playing teen titans go every single day did you forget about garfield i would come home every day when i was in high school got off the bus i still rode the bus until i was like a senior got off the bus turned on that tv at like four something whenever i got home and you know what was on garfield every single day And then there was that weird, like, dog running a hotel. Yeah, I forget the name of that one. That one was also on every single day, like, the next year. Cartoon Network has been doing this for years, and they're just now noticing it because the big three are coming to an end, and one of them already has. That's the biggest problem with these fans. I call them 
fans in quotations because they're bashing something that they love, but they don't know how it works. They don't know how it works. And someone was saying, oh, Disney XD has Pokemon now. Okay, maybe Pokemon just decided to make a deal with Disney to try it out. You never know. You don't know. That's the biggest thing that I have to say to people who criticize anyone, and that is you do not know what is going on. They might be having a serious financial problem. There may be a problem that just no one is deciding to uh, sign with Cartoon Network. There may be a problem that once these big three end, that who knows, they're, just, they're not allowed to rerun episodes. You don't know. As someone who constantly is pitching ideas to myself, because I am the sole proprietor of the original Nick show, as someone who pitches ideas to myself and then throws out those, I have to consider what I've done. And they're probably considering what they do every single day. Take, for example, the cost of me playing Bioshock again, the first one. The cost of me playing it would be to set aside even more time than I'm already trying to reduce because more people are coming onto my channel, they are going to need time. And that is something I don't want to do is revisit something that I have killed off because of moments of frustration or something like that. I don't want to be a full-time Let's Play channel either. And running the cost of that is even more expensive. And I don't want to do reruns of Sonic I don't want to return to um, Bioshock. I don't want to return to Republic Commando. And I don't even really want to return to Professor Layton because I gave you a taste and then I'm going to move on because I know the cost. And eventually you're going to be like, I've already played this game. I already know what he's going to say because my humor is pretty similar in everything that I do. I repeat myself a lot, I realized. But... That's the thing. You don't know how to run a company if all you do is sit there on YouTube and complain and destroy this woman's reputation for something that she's trying to do legitimately and she is working extremely hard at. You don't know what is going on behind the scenes. You don't know. As someone who completely empathizes with Cartoon Network and Adult Swim, I am trying to wrap my head around what they must be going through. What, you know, if they can't say anything, if they can't say what's going on, what if they're having a serious problem and they just cannot say, because if they say it, they know it's going to just destroy everything they're doing. You don't know, and they're just holding on a little while longer. I don't know, a lot of rabbit trails... Let me know what you think in the comments, or don't. You know, do whatever you want. Uh, Adult Swim is amazing. You need to watch Adult Swim. You need to watch Cartoon Network as well. Because Steven Universe is ending, and Adventure Time is ending. Watch them live before you find them on the internet, maybe? I don't know. With that, my name is Nick. You have been watching me. And I will see you guys on the next episode of The Original Nick Show.